Well, hello everyone. My name is Danny, and today we are replaying The Devil and Me. But we are actually playing the Creator's Cut, so it's going to be a little different. I've already played the beginning of it, so I hopefully, yeah. But here we go. Let's do this. I'm wondering, because I kind of stopped it, I wonder if I have to start it all over. No, okay, good. Let's see what he has to say. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Holding on to a little guilt, are we? Hoping that this time around you might be able to save them all. I hope. It's so good to have company. For a long time I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here watching over these tales and what good are stories without somebody to experience them this is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure art can elicit all sorts of reactions delight inspiration desire yes but also doubt fear dread way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Not really, but okay. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. Oh. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... And, uh, and, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. But I'm not. Sure, I've got issues to deal with. Same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm... You need to know your whole life story, girl. UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Really? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've done a key and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnick, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last dude was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more
more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing, bury me deep their honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust in me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pile of... Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? This time, I need to keep the sound girl alive and Charlie. She's going to be grand, people. And not kill the dog. That was my mistake, too. I didn't mean to kill the doggo. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's going to be great, guys. Oh yes, it's gonna be so awesome. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Oh, Topeka. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can know affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. 
all footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. You know, I always wondered why the killer never spoke, ever. That had been so hard not to want to talk and say, ah, you fucked. But no. Quiet as a bird. Dude, sir, rich. Shouldn't he have service or something? Is this guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high we'll get a better look. That's certainly, um, up there. The, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Oh, I'm him. Last time it was the other guy. You know, I just want to look around because I might find something else here. This is the creator's cut, so I don't know what I can or can't do yet. Like I said at the beginning, it was different. I had a different death with the two. Yes, at the beginning, so, yeah. Am well, I supposed to take a picture and stuff, or what? Around, around. This way? Okay, hold on, sorry. I'm gonna go back down. I can't go back down? Okay, hold on. I don't know. Well, it's different, so. Hey, guys, hurry up! We're on it. No. I'm gonna take a picture of the bird. I don't know what I'm supposed to take a picture of. There's a trophy where you're supposed to take pictures of stuff with him. I'm... Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but. That's uh, a. Going... So much for plan A. Yeah, I know he's going to work our way around. Come on. Anything for a shot, right? Why are you okay? Don't do the camera right at all, okay? Mr. Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. Can I play well, him last time first? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. I didn't. You know, so I don't it remember. Can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. That's true. I guess we do.
I got all these clues from the first time, so I don't think I'll wow. be. That's a lot of lives lost. Where you at, Charlie? See, they make these characters disappear. I'm like, is he dead? Is he gone? What's wrong? Oh, there he goes. Pops back up. When we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in person. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours tonight. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks to get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my own. You should... Oh, well... No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. Oh, oh. God, it was there. Holy shit. I forgot that was there. How was that thing? A dummy. Dummy? Well, yeah, but what is it doing here? Taking a vacation. A long, rustic vacation. <laughs> go, go. What are you doing? Why are you spinning? Oh, my God, the game is fucked. Oh, my God, the game gets messed up. Oh my God. Do you see this? I can't move. He's just, I'm not even touching the controller. There we go. <laughs> I had to wait for Charlie to move. He just kept spinning by himself. This game is so many bugs. Which I don't care though, but. What else is going to go wrong? Move, Charlie. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? But this crossover with Cage hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Oh. Why do you have your camera? Do I? I mean, come on, do I need to take another fucking picture? Sure. It says I want you to take pictures, but of what? They don't specify what I should take a picture of. Like, really? Why is that rock? Oh, I 
didn't know I could go in here. Or did I go in here last time? I might have went here last time. <laughs> I don't remember. So I came to see the final weight. Last night's forgotten test. Test looks like the automation is all up and running. We'll, we'll do one more final try today and then we'll pack away the kit. Nothing important. Uh, all this guy is around. Other than that, I was okay. I guess I did go in here. I don't think I did last night, though. I don't really remember, so. Patient. Yes, we know. Five people or so every time, most times. Okay. Nothing. I can't remember <laughs> what I did. Because, you know, it was a six hour game that I played or so. Let me go in the tunnel, please. Let me go in the tunnel. Let me go in the tunnel. <laughs> so I can't get through this way. End of the road. Take a picture of. No? Okay. This is going to be like any other game, so yeah. I don't remember this being here. I guess that kind of is big news a century ago. I keep forgetting this curator's cut. There's going to be stuff that's been put in here that I didn't see before, so. But like any other game, I'm going to be looking through everything. It's funny, the man got stuck. He kept going in a circle, and I wasn't even pressing the button. That was some funny shit right there. Cause you're in the way. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to take a picture of. This looks pretty old. Oh. What's that? Some old coin. Wow. Penny. Got 107 left. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's uh, not true. I know I'm driving this car. What car? The Lonnie Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Don't Jesus, jump I'm on to give it. someone yeah. a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. We go, up we go.
doggo. Nice to meet you too. Dude, I can't move while you're in front of me. Jesus. Oh, another one. I've already unlocked all of these. Well, not all of them, but... Four or five. I need to find five more. That one's at the end of the game. Spoiler alert! I mean, if you haven't played the game the first time, don't watch this version. Any of this stuff? Charlie just leaves. Just needs the fresh sheets. Nice drapes. God, and was... six gallons of sanitizer. Do I need to get... Charlie, I'm getting an oh uneasy feeling about this. Camera situation. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. Dude. Seriously? Why are you in front of me? Yeah, we know. Oh, oh. look at this. It's all wired up. Ah. That... You see that? Well, it moved almost. Was it the flowing bird? It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake. Until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's our ride. Come on, we better get back. We just had the one call. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I did not. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? If only oh. knew. Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. For him to be faking Smart. this, it's Mark. very sad. Aaron, Jamie, ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? <coughs> Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Mark was smiling like
crazy right there. Did you see that? He looked like the Joker smile away. He's like, uh, that's a little creepy. Let's get up to the hotel. Please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. <laughs> you watch too many horror movies. I don't know. Ah, uh, Kate's very like. Kate's not good. The rest of them are good shape, but Kate is not. Okay. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. <laughs> Rolling. I like Speed. that she said right there. It's funny as fuck. Action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house. And start to walk. To a wall? Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Mr. Dumet is being really restricted. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops at Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, ow! Oh, oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Is it to your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my God. I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. Do you have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Yeah. I was playing. So in this greatest cut, you're still kind of doing the same things, but you could play 
other character. It's the first time I was playing her. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, without you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Oh, tell me the truth. Is there any saving the. Yeah, I have that. Four, thirteen, four. Oh god, I got so many. Maybe there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Keep out, yes, I know. I can do this. Yep, you can do this. Just look on. Sometimes these characters just start walking by themselves. It's like, hello. Hopefully she doesn't get stuck. No. Nothing still. Okay. You could have told us to dress for a trek. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Completely fine. Girl, where are you going? Controller? Oh no, this game actually. Don't weird. look down. I got it. Relax. Nothing? Nothing still? I'm going. Do you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down with your family. My wife is. She died. Mr. Dumet, is this an actual palm tree? Was this shipped into the island? I... I don't think so. I was pressing the... Okay. Game's acting weird now. When I played it the first time, there's a few hiccups, but now there's a ton of hiccups. How we do it? What about over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go in here first. I heard you were looking for a new place. I'm not sure I can afford to rent on this one. More mission. That's the right bill. Yep. That's when I got the sound girl killed. Right. I will admit that. I messed up there. How's that supposed to know if you took the thing that he was going to kill you right there? Tells you what it is. Uh, jump. Jump. Maybe 
this is the way. If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Yes, it is. Nothing? Only thing there's something in these nooks and crannies. One. Well, at least by the end of this version of the game, I'll be able to get all the diagrams open. I got most of them. This reminds me of shit summer camps. <laughs> Get the car moving and stop it here. We'll be able to get across. Get this thing working? Hell yeah, I got this, girl. I got this. I'm gonna check everywhere because I don't know. Oh, already there. Okay. I really need that, but okay. No, I didn't say that. One second, I'm gone, I'm gone. What's through here? Hear that? Is that the bloom? Oh no, it's not. Sorry. Bottom of a hill. Of a stiletto hill. Really? Why 
just getting the same stuff over and over. What do you say? So much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. You found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're going to find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh-huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. I'm sure it's fine. Dude spends a million dollars on security. He'd opt for a better bridge if this one wasn't safe. Besides, even if you do fall, look at all the soft water down there, swirling around those jagged rocks. Wait, is that a skeleton wedge down there? <laughs> ha ha, you're hilarious. Go already. You good? Oh, man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it, though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Yes. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look, it's fine. Stop looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. Wow, Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl up there. Probably Demet's daughter. Maybe she recognized you from TV and she's running down here for an autograph. Maybe. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Whoa. 
Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. His makeup case is slowing us down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. That is. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is really fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Busy, busy. You've been out in a bad old day, and I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day, and not a word from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. <laughs> okay, come on. It's not that funny. You really scared me. Heard me. Really? It was an accident. I'm sorry. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw, a little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. And you, singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a haul, see? And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media post. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Uh, gross school. 
What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows what you know. What is that? Why, you genius? I mean, why is a dusty old bottle of wine in the dresser? Mm, you want wine to be old. Yeah, off a rack, in a controlled environment, not this. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? No, oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge, cause. Good job. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but... Dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant a thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really? Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. What? No, I'm fine. I'm I'm totally not the scared lost lamb Charlie makes me out to be. Oh, I know. That's why I'm super coming on to you. So basically, you'd rather drink this shit than acknowledge all the signs I'm throwing at you. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh, oh! Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, this is totally different from what happened the first time. I like it. Who is that? <sighs> what the fuck, Charlie? You just standing there trying to listen in? What? No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. That's true. Okay. Oh, Jamie's gone up. 
Yeah, yes. Oh. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. To be continued, then? Yes. Definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Look at that. The door wasn't even closed when she closed it. Uh. <laughs> Where the hell are they going? You know, Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? I'm sure about that. Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready when they put it in there. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that. Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? 
I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Find the flashlight. You need to find 14. Most likely it's because of where I die with these certain people. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. So you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies, with a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Jackpot. Erin, I found the key.
Hold on. Oh. Nope. Hang on. Okay. I thought maybe I could use a freaking block, but nope. Is just gone. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Well, I was hoping that was gonna be her, not him. I already went through all this with you, dude. Hello. Well, we know that's not how I'm gonna die, so... Nothing. Wow! An animatronic! Ha! That's what amazing! What would be, Mr. DeMath, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. I already examined that before, it's just another piece I already have. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it! Don't that look like your exact cigarettes you lost? You're that dumb? I think you are. Next round's on me. Promise. Yes. Get off the daddy. <laughs> Hurry. Oi. Oi. Oh, no, no, no. Please. <laughs> I need that cigarette. No. <laughs> I mean, if they're at that addictive, dude. Oh no. No. Do I go? Oh yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha. <laughs> Still think he's gonna get him. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? And he never explains who it is. Or what it is. They just walk away. <laughs>
Hey, had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Lindsay, I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have starlight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assume. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. I'm a, a little bit both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyzing it. I... Okay, you're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are <laughs> not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no-fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. Something back here. So if Dumet catches us in here. Are we breaking one of his rules? We did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So, maybe we should take care. Probably. 
Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Yeah, I feel like Demet is the kind of dude who needs his shit. Shit. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. Took the ball just before, same stuff before, so. Yeah. What was the point? Sorry, I'm going to do something else. Look at this wall of paper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. is gonna set in. Right. That's it. Anything around here? Since we got here, I've been sewing something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. work to do here. Keep your head down. Hmm. Keep your man, don't be spying.
This should work. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. It would be so much easier if she just was here, you know, like, oh, I'm going to help the girl. Or not. Be that way, then. got to be a way through. Whoa. Oh. Josh, come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Hmm. Oh, you'll be fine. I'm scared of heights, but not like that. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. That's what she says, bitch. What are you looking at, girl? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, wrong way. Wrong way. about all these the hat. Okay. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Yeah, grab it. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. What you get? See? Well, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <gasps> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> That's true. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk shows. You mean talk show? Point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? 
That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes, 40 something, still waiting for your big break. Hey, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as photographer. You can't expect- I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie hasn't got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. What was that? Hello? Kate, Mark, dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way. Great. Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? Uh, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. <laughs> Him not showing certainly tracks with every other lawn and entertainment inside source. Come on, Kate. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Dinner time! Oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what, why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after he got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. It must be a mistake. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Or maybe he's just plain crazy. It wouldn't be the first time Charles booked an expert who's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. Oh. But that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. 
The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. What? Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant plans. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. No way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things will begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? Good point. He's not making this easy. I don't want to piss him off. Still think this was worth it? Look, I'm starting to have some doubts. Well, at least you're honest. We'll put that on your tombstone. We may as well get to work. At the very least, we can set up. Yeah, we have to do something. Let's set up in the lobby. If he shows and wants us to stop, fine. If he doesn't, at least we'll have something in the can. Hang on. We're... All right, fine. Fuck it. Let's do it. And I'll go set up. Won't it hurt to be ready either way? No, I suppose not. I'll be along in a minute. Oh, shit!
Breakers.
Mr. Demet? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Better choices, Jamie. Make better choices. It's your own damn fault. Breakers. Huh. Kate is getting creative with Charlie's script. God, something from this century.
severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Damn it. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just ass. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. If we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. <coughs> what the hell? What was that? Aaron? You guys hear that? It's Aaron. Down there. Aaron? I, I, I can't get the door open. Get me out. It's OK. We're right here. Calm down, Aaron. It's all right. I, I, I can't. Try to relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Aaron? It's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? Don't <coughs> open the door. Move. Move, Charlie. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breaths. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Uh, guys, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I think she's still gonna die, isn't she? She's still gonna die, isn't she? supposed to find oh, no, no, no. 
circles. I don't know what to do. I couldn't find the inhaler. Yeah, she's gonna die either way, so. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. I thought I would be able to keep her alive. What's the point of this? She's still gone. Oh, that's some bull. I thought I was gonna be able to save her this time. Where the fuck is she? Not here. Obviously. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't oh, know. man. Aaron. Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. What's the point? I wanted to save her this time. Uh, oh well, it's all good. It's still annoying. Ah, there you are. I wonder what's become of Erin. She just disappeared. I think Jamie especially is having a hard time with it. They certainly connected, didn't they?